Hello my dears, this is the last video in the 5 Simple Spell series. I'm a little hyped, there are so many other things that I want to do, and so I'm like... So today we are going to be making a charm bag together. Let's go for something completely different, and I want to make a calming charm bag. In the past couple of weeks, I feel like I've been needing a lot of self-care, and I know we're all going through all kinds of crap all of the time, because Earth. So today, I wanted to make a calming charm bag that we can keep with us all the time if we needed a moment of just random chill. It's a lovely color purple, which I enjoy. A lavender, I mean, obviously. So inside of the calming charm bag, I am going to use lavender, of course, violet essential oil, lavender essential oil. If there's a scent that's calming for you that isn't lavender, by all means, use that instead. It really is up to you what feels best for you. Some people don't like the smell of lavender. My husband thinks it smells like old ladies. I really enjoy it. I'm also going to be using in this bag some chamomile flowers, I have some marshmallow root, and some mugwort, and these are all herbs that are going to help with the element of calming down and soothing yourself and making you feel just relaxed in general. These are also great ingredients for a sleeping pillow, which I do because I'm extra, I like to have sexy pillows. I'm also going to be using a piece of blue lace agate, I have a small piece, let me see if you can get in there and see. All right, let's do the thing. Yeah, there it is, right? Blue lace agate. There we go. Piece of scolocyte, which is one of my favorite stones for calming. And like I said before, as with everything, it's up to you what stones or crystals you use for calming yourself down. It's 100% up to you what feels good to you. Like scolocyte to me is like sleeping on a pillow and the pillow is alive and it's like, <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, now I'm just getting creepy. I also have a little tiny piece of amethyst, which is a really light piece that I'm going to put in there also. So when you're using oils in a charm bag, you have to be really careful about what kind you're using because if they are in a carrier oil, that oil will stay oily forever. Essential oils do dry and the scent will still stay within the items that you're using, but carrier oils such as almond oil or apricot oil or something like that will stay oily and then that's just going to get on all your stuff. So if you're putting a charm bag in your purse or in your backpack or somewhere else, that oil will seep out and get on your stuff and it's not cute. You're not going to like it. It's messy. If you feel the need to, you can cleanse your charm bag before you use it, put your intent on it that it's going to be cleansed and free of any other energies, and then you can begin putting your items in. Now, sometimes you can also write a little bit of a spell on a piece of paper and put that in your bag also with it. Something that reminds you of being calm or some kind of calming words or phrases or maybe a mantra or a quote that helps you to relax. You don't have to use herbs if you don't want to or if you don't have any herbs. You can use like a little bit of cotton or even just a piece of fabric of something that's calming like a, like a piece of chenille or a piece of like um, um, a flannel. <laughs> I kept thinking fennel in my head. Fennel, you don't wear fennel. I mean, you could. I remember someone using a piece of their childhood blanket, like cutting off a small piece and putting that in their calming bag because that was just something that was very comforting for them. Whatever elements you can fit into your bag that are comforting for you, go ahead and put them in there because this is all about you. It's all about what makes you feel calm and relaxed. These are great for panic attacks, BT dubs, just in case. I'm going to go ahead and put some of these herbs in my bag. And while I'm doing so, I'm thinking of very calming things for me. Oh my <laughs> Can't really see what I'm doing. Should I make it? Should I bring it closer? Should I? Oh yes, just the boobies. Okay. <laughs> so I'm putting some mugwort in my charm bag and put some chamomile in my baggie. It's up to you how much you want to put in also. Put some marshmallow root in my bag as well. Almost out of marshmallow root because I used a bunch of it when I had a cold. I made a syrup and now I'm almost, I'm almost done. Uh oh, we're losing the focus. There we go. So as you can see here, I have my herbs in my baggie. And it's a porous bag so you can really... It smells heavenly. And I'm gonna top it off with some lavender. I'm going to go ahead and place my stones in here. And if you only have one stone, if you only wanna use one, it's fine. The amount of anything that you're putting in your bag is up to you. The power is yours. Now you know essential oils are insanely strong, so be careful. And 
put some violet. I'm gonna put one of violet in because violet is very strong. So I have all of my ingredients in here. I'm going to close it, tie it up, give it a little shake. Oh uh, yes. And this can go under your pillow to help you sleep. This can go in your bag with you. If you're someone that suffers from anxiety, something like this is great to have when you're starting to feel anxious, you can pull it out. Hold it, give it a squeeze, give it a sniff. The scent is gonna help you. And just having something in your hand that you know is specifically for calming you down can give you a bit of reassurance just in itself. Hold it, imagine the calmest thing that you can imagine, whether it's you sitting in a rocking chair and just relaxing, staring out at the waves, your mom tucking you in, anything that makes you feel safe and secure and calm, imagine that when you're holding your bag. Oh, it smells incredible. I love it. So at this point, your charm bag is finished. It's very simple. Hi, honey. Ciao. <laughs> you can wear a charm bag if you'd like to. You can, some people wear I <laughs> Honey, can you excuse me? All right, silly. All right, silly. Okay, I guess we're finishing like this. <laughs> Once you've held this bag and you put your intention into it, it's yours. It's for no one else to use. If someone sees it and they're like, what is that? Oh my gosh, I love that. Can I have one? Sure, you can make one with them for themselves, specific for them, but this one is yours. So keep it with you, keep it personal. If you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave it down in the comment box below. I am Mint Fairy everywhere on every social media platform. So go ahead and give me a buzz. I hope this was helpful for you. <laughs> Okay, bye guys. Thank you so much for joining me for this series and I hope you can look forward to what's coming next.